Hello Aquarius, it's Milady from Milady's White Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 9th through the 16th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle and Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off on my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing. So it seems like, and setting up personal readings with me, seems like it's a bit of a uh, baggage going on here. I feel like this is more of a decision. I feel like some of you are thinking like, dang, is that too much baggage? Or, I mean, you know, you're trying to trick yourself into believing the baggage is not as bad. But if you in this deep about this baggage, then it's too much. Okay. All right, um, if you want a personal read, check in the description box below, and make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road. Okay, what's going on with the Aquarius, 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 Aquarius love reading? Wow, I saw that. Anybody else see that? It's basically telling you you need to be honest with yourself, because it was an honesty card, or maybe if it wasn't flipped over, I was supposed to say that. Okay, now I'm a little scared because <laughs> I don't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. All right, so it's like, yeah, I'm still scared because how did that happen? So it's like, basically, be honest with yourself about this baggage thing. Don't trip and act like, uh, you know, things aren't as bad as they are, you know, because you're going to make it go away for a little while. And then after three, four, five months, it's going to get even worse. And it's going to be like, ah, you know, driving yourself crazy trying to. Um, accept something that isn't acceptable by you, okay? Alright, Aquarius. What's going on in Aquarius love reading? Aquarius love reading. October 9th through the 16th, 2017. October 9th through the 16th, 2017 love reading. Alright, so secrets are getting ready to be revealed. They're coming out. Hmm... Yep, something that somebody's been hiding is coming out. So this could be still the same situation with you trying to act like something is okay. I think you're about to explode or um, like indirectly say that um, that you don't really care for that situation or whatever they're doing, you know? All right. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Sorry. Jeez, I would have been halfway through the reading right now. But your cars is just singing so much. So... Seems like somebody is emotionally drained right now or being emotionally drained. This could be you. I feel like since it's the overall is you and your partner. Ooh, somebody is giving too much and somebody is taking too much, okay? That could be this baggage that you thinking about. Alright, so it seems like something is going on. Sorry, I can't stop moving the cards. Alright, some, some kind of sacrifice going on here. And I feel like yeah, I feel like somebody wants you to make some kind of sacrifice and it's draining. Mm. Okay, so it seems like it's draining, but this person really isn't even, like, caring as much as you care about the situation. They just, like, um, get rid of it. But they're not caring because you're not telling them how you feel about it, you know? But you're you're draining. You're You're being drained, okay? But it's, it's all you. Holy smokes. Okay. So, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's this in the summer season. But, uh, somebody wants... Yeah, you want them to get rid of their partner. And they're not even looking at it like that. But you're not telling them how bad you feel about this. But it could be either way around. General reading. You want them to get rid of their partner, wife, husband, whatever. And they like, no. But you're not saying that much about it. So, there we go with the honesty again. You know, you just starting to come out and tell them that you don't like this. After like three or four or five months or whatever. And now you're just expecting them to change. But you're still not... You're still not voicing your opinion. You don't feel like um, you have the the right to say this at this time, you know. But they not losing no sleep over this. They got you. They got uh, they 
a wife or husband or longtime partner, and they set, but you sitting over here tripping. You know, you can't sleep. It's really starting to bother you right now. Mm. They told you that they was leaving. So it seems like only thing that's keeping you here are things that they're doing for you, gifts. They're making you feel like they're going to give you stuff. I feel like they may give you, they may be giving you things uh, physically, but mentally you're stuck because you want this person all, as a whole, but you can't have them that way, okay? Whew, it's, it's basically saying it's time for you to make some kind of wise decision. I mean, maybe if you stop sleeping with this person, it'd be more... Uh, yeah, it, uh, they understand where you're saying or where you're going from. You'll make more of a statement because, you know, you've been doing the same thing for this long time. You might be saying more and more like, hey, you need to get rid of him or her. But in reality, you're still doing the same thing. So maybe if you stop sleeping with them or do something, take away something that they love about your relationship, then they think about changing. But at this point, they got everything they want. Okay. All right. Let's go. What's going on for the Aquarius love reading? Aquarius love reading for the week of... Aquarius love reading for the week of October 9th through the 16th, 2017. October 9th through the 16th, 2017. Love reading, love reading, love reading. Ooh. Okay, so somebody is... Doing a little bit of manipulating to get what they want. And it seems like they know a little bit more than they should. You know? It's like uh, they might be possibly like reading your energy to see what you doing and, and don't want to do. You know? Of course. They've seen how much they can get away with. Okay? What's going on with the Aquarius? All right. Love reading. Aquarius love reading. Mm -mm. Alright, I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but I read these straight out the books to ensure you get your full message. So we got the five of coins first. And it's upright. It says... Money which is going out fa the house faster than it comes in. You may need to borrow money to avoid unnecessary expenses. Okay, so it seems like you may be giving more than he's get 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 given to you or she's given to you. So it seems like you're trying to overcompensate. You know, when it's time to give gifts, like, I don't know, birthdays or whatever, it seems like you give way too much to say you should be with me, you know? That's what I'm feeling like there. You're spending too much, and this could be time-wise, too. You're spending too much time dealing with this person in a situation knowing that you should be doing somewhere something else. It's like you're not coming into the reality of what's going on here, Okay? So we got the Empress reverse. It says honesty and full disclosure. So it seems like you are trying to be honest with this person. And this person seems like they, they're they getting ready to be honest with you and tell you exactly what they want. And it's like a take it or leave it situation. You know, it's like, hey, this is my wife. You're my girlfriend. This is my husband. You're my boyfriend. Take it or leave it. And it seems like with this car being here, you might just take it. Because right now you're weak to this person because you love them, you know. But they're working up on being happy in their home. That's it. That's it. And you think you working out this, being happy in this home. But this home is not real. I mean, it is for a side relationship. But for a uh, full face-to-face -face relationship, this ain't, this ain't real. Okay? Alright, so we got the strength card. All right, so indecision and weakness. Yeah, so you don't know if you want to leave or if you want to stay. You don't know if this uh, baggage is too much or not. You know, you just try to. You can't even enjoy it. You can't even enjoy the moment because you're trying so hard to get this person to look at you for more than what they're looking at you. Okay, so we got the Ten of Cups. 
10, 10, 10. All right, the Ten of Cups is, it says your attention should be at home and peace in your home. It is time to balance peace and harmony, that balance, peace, and harmony are present in your home. So this makes me feel like you need to start trying to take care of yourself in this relationship. You need to get what you can get to help you uh, pay your bills from this person or whatever this um, lack of money going out is. And you need to focus on your home. And I think this might get this person to look at you even more. But as long as you trying to... Um, like one up the wife or the husband, you know, you're never going to get far. You know, you got to make some real changes. You got to be more selfish. You got to think about yourself and then you can change what's going on. But until then, you know, that person going to be happy over there and you still going to be stuck like what's going on. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.